This is the International Society for Transgenic Technologies and this is a, a very young society. We found it, that in Europe in 2006 and has all people in the world that is involved in the generation of genetically modified animals for a variety of reasons, from biology, for biomedical and for biotechnology studies. We wanted to highlight the internationality of our society and we have been visiting different continents. We've been in Australia, we've been in North America, we've been in Europe and uh, we wanted to come to Asia. And uh, of course in Asia the obvious country to visit is China, not only because of your size but because of the many uh, transgenic facilities, uh, many laboratories, many universities you have in this country that are producing, that are generating genetically modified organisms. So it was obvious to us that if we would be coming to Asia, the, but the first visit to Asia should be China. So, and then we were very lucky to have the uh, support from the Southern Medical University here in Guangzhou. And then Professor Ming Zhao, he stepped ahead and then he accepted being the host. And I have to say that we are absolutely thankful to he and to his collaborators for all what they have done for organize this excellent conference. Well, I've seen, uh, I've been in the uh, field for more than 20 years and I've been uh, following the developments in different, different countries and I must say that I'm impressed by the evolution in China. So maybe uh, 10 years ago or 15 years ago, Professor Shang Gao, on the first day from the Nanjing University, he was nicely summarizing. It was very little going on regarding genetic modification in China. Whereas now you have uh, several universities which are leaders, which are world leaders, and uh, you are competing very well. And you have top scientists publishing in top journals, and uh, you are really doing very well at the moment. And this also shows that your government has been heavily invested, uh, has been heavily supporting these scientists, and this is important to see. We're here to share our progress regarding knowledge on how to make bet better animal models and how to make use of these animal models. And as you can see, <clears throat> here we have 31 companies that have accepted to come to exhibit and to sponsor our conference because they have an obvious interest. And uh, among these 31, there's several which are Chinese companies. And I believe this is important for us in our field because uh, a good part of what we do can be outsourced and can be already assigned to companies like uh, the production of a transgenic mouse, the production of a transgenic pig for biomedical applications. Some universities cannot afford having a facility and they will rather decide to purchase this into a company. So this conference like this one, they promote not only the creation but they promote and they increase the business aspects of uh, all these companies. I would say, I would say, basically, you have to keep up with uh, whatever development are occurring at worldwide level. This is a very uh, dynamic field. This is a field that is evolving constantly. And uh, attending conferences like this, we are the ones representing, I believe better the field in the sense that uh, most of the newest developments are here represented by their creators. So the people that have envisaged new applications are, have here been invited and it is important for these companies and for the rest of colleagues here in China as well to be aware of this and uh, to establish good collaborations. And the one thing that I want to highlight for this conference is that it creates opportunity for networking. So here is where you meet with many people, with many colleagues all around the world that have many things to say about the generation and the analysis of genetically modified animals.
This is my first visit to China and of course my first visit to Guangzhou and uh, so far I've been, uh, I've been impressed and I've been enjoying and this has been an excellent, an excellent conference so far and actually I've been uh, also exposed to some of the beauties of the city and we've been going through the, through the cruise in the Pearl River and that has been excellent. So you have a big city and there are many universities here and there are many groups working on, uh, on the genetic modification of animals. So I think it was an excellent decision for the ICT to come to China and we're glad to be here.